In this tutorial from thefunkyprofessor.com, I'm going to cover the course and the distribution of the axillary nerve. Now the axillary nerve is one of the nerves that supplies the upper limb. In fact, it supplies the upper part of the upper limb. The axillary nerve is a branch of the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. You will of course remember that the other major branch of the posterior cord of the brachial plexus is the radial nerve. The axillary nerve lies immediately posterior to the axillary artery and it lies on top of the subscapularis muscle, which is one of the rotator cuff muscles. At the lower level of the subscapularis, the axillary nerve dives backwards and passes underneath the shoulder joint capsule or the glenohumeral capsule. And it is this intimate relationship with the capsule that makes the nerve particularly vulnerable if the shoulder dislocates or if there's a fracture to the upper part of the humerus. Now, as it passes down and underneath the capsule, it picks up a traveling friend. And this is the posterior circumflex humeral vessels. Now, these structures pass through a space to enter the posterior aspect of the upper limb. And this is the quadrangular space. The boundaries of the quadrangular space are the teres minor above, teres major below, the long head of the triceps muscle medially, and the shaft of the humerus laterally. Once it passes through the quadrangular space, it divides into two branches, an anterior branch, which goes on to supply the anterior aspect of the deltoid muscle, that beautiful rounded muscle that gives that shoulder that sensual shape, and the posterior part of the axillary nerve, which supplies teres minor, and the rest of the deltoid. Now it does in fact also give off a cutaneous branch. And this branch goes on to supply a small patch of skin on the upper lateral part of the arm, the so-called regimental patch. And in fact, I use this to remember what the axillary nerve does. Now bear with me, this may seem a bit convoluted, but when you think of regiments, you think of troops, and there are different types of troops. And one of the types of troop is an auxiliary troop. And auxiliary sounds like axillary, so therefore you can remember that the axillary nerve supplies that patch of skin just there. So to summarize, the axillary nerve is a branch of the brachial plexus. It comes from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. It passes underneath subscapularis, underneath the capsule of the shoulder joint, through the quadrangular space, and it supplies deltoid, that beautiful round muscle, and it also supplies teres minor, and a small patch of skin, the regimental patch. So there you have it, the axillary nerve in a nutshell.